Today is Derby Day. Swansea City against Cardiff City at the Cardiff City Stadium. Only one Welsh team can make it into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Will the Swans smash the Bluebirds? I hope so. Find out today. What is happening guys, my name's Adam, I am a Super Swan and today is Derby Day on Saving Swans. So forget about the league, today is purely about Cardiff in the FA Cup 4th round draw. Bitter rivals, South Wales Derby, I am representing Wales today. I am Welsh by the way, so it's not as if I'm not, but I am purely, well, we're on Swansea side today. So we're Welsh, we're supporting Wales. But we're supporting Swansea. So let's have a look at the team selection today. So we're going to be keeping on counter. It's something that's working for us. I don't want to fix what's not broken. Quite a strong lineup today. We're going to keep AU up front. Our two new signings, Borja Lasso and Stuani on the wings. Uh, Carroll comes in for Sanchez as Sanchez has picked up a little bit of a knock. He should be back to full fitness immediately. Uh, Britain's going to come in as a defensive midfielder for us. So he's going to hold the line. And we got Fernandes coming in for Kyle Bartley. So other than that, we're going to go in for hopefully a Derby victory. So go out there and prove a point. This is a great opportunity to, sh to prove the critics wrong. We are going to prove it against our bitter rivals, Cardiff. And we are underway. So Cardiff are flying high in the championship. They are second in the league. So... You know, overall, they're not that far behind us. So, we need to prove a point here today. Let's hope we can get something sorted here. So, first 15 minutes, nothing to write home about. I am slightly nervous over Jordan Ayew's injury that they've pulled notice to. Can you see that from? Yeah, you can. Potential knee injury, so... Right, so injury is affecting him. So we'll give him the first half. So quite a boring first half here at the Cardiff City Stadium. I have instructed my players to get stuck in. So there's going to be a fair few flying challenges going in to the team. So nothing to note in the first half. A drab match. Well, I think everyone's nervous. It is the derby after all. So do this for the fans. I am going to bring Jordan Neo off though. It seems that his injury is affecting him. We'll bring on Boney. Play him as a target man. On attack. Uh, as far as everybody else goes, I'm pretty happy with the team. There's nobody else I really want to bring in at this moment. So second half. I'm hoping for a little bit more agency. I might go attacking after about 60 minutes just to drive the point home. But I'm hoping we can get something from this game. It's quite even on the stats there. And we'll get our first highlight of the game. Stuani, is he going to see Norton on the wing? No, but he sees Carroll in the middle. Rocky Mesa to Borja Lasso. And it's a save by Etheridge. So at least we've got the first chance. We've had the first clear cut chance of the game. So I think now the time to go attack in. We're going to try and drive the game. We are the Premier League team. We are going up against a championship team. We need something to go for us here. So Cardiff are going to break from the back. The problem we got with going attacking is we're leaving a lot to be desired defensively. So I'm hoping our DM, Leon Britton, can do something for us today. So Cardiff has seen a lot of the ball here. Hoyle it to Bryson. Gets it right to Ebert. Zahor is in. Oh, it's a good save by Fabianski. So we are going to see... The problem with going attacking is, it, like I say, it leaves us open defensively. But we need to drive the game. We're getting the chances. We'll have a look and see what we're looking like. So no further shots. Britain with a free kick. Crosses it in. Stuani's going to get there first though. So who's he going to look for? We're going to recycle this. Tom Carroll. 
flicks it over to nobody. Stuani picks it up. And Boney, it's a hell of a save by Etheridge. That is a good save. Cardiff are going to get a chance now. Ebert's going to cross that in. But Mesa clears. I might make some tactical changes in a second. Unless we can break from this. Borja Lasso. He's going to wait to hold the ball up. Britain. Flicks that over to Kyle Norton. Is he going to flank in the cross? Oh, that foul. Stuani. Oh, Stuani should have done better. Stuani should have done better. We are going to make some changes. Uh, okay. Rocky Mace is looking a bit tired out there. We're going to bring on... We're going to bring on Leroy Fair. And who else we got? Olsen's tied, but until our next left back is fit, we can't really sub him. Who else should we... Who else should we change? I'm a bit, I'm, everything's okay. I know we're not winning, but... We need to make some sort of change. I'm going to bring Routledge on for Borja Lasso. Because Borja Lasso is still getting used to the game. You know, he's still getting used to the Swansea lineup. So we'll, we'll give him a rest. Airbait on the right wing. Crosses it in. Oof. I think that's a f offside. So we're going to shout out. Show some passion for the last 10 minutes. Grab ourselves a goal. Make yourself a hero. In the South Wales derby. Your name will go down. In history. For the rest of this season. But I think the way it's going. I think it's going to be a nil and a draw. If I'm being honest. Unless we get a last shot. Was that a penalty? Oh. Stuani will feel he could contribute more. But. It's a nil nil draw. So it is going to go to a replay. Jordan A was injured for seven days. So when is the, the replay going to be? Okay, so the replay is going to be on the 7th of February. So what I'm going to do, guys, we're going to skip the Arsenal and Leicester games. And we're going to go straight over to the FA Cup 4th round replay. We'll be at home. So this is going to be a chance for us to really drive home the point to Cardiff. That we are the superior Welsh team. So I'm going to cut out to that. I'll see you on the replay. And we are back. So we're up the transfer screen here as we've gone past deadline day in the window. And I didn't intend on making any business on transfer deadline day. You know, there'd be no Sky Sports cameras outside of Liberty this time. I'd be tucked up in bed on a nice, you know, relaxing transfer window. But as you can see, we have made two sign-ins. The first one I want to draw attention to is Sebastian Young, who's a right back, and we got him in for 625k, which, you know, I thought was a pretty good deal considering what we've got at the club. Uh, we also we had an injury to Kyle Norton, which kind of forced my hand a little bit. So he's going to come in and be our first choice right back. Got decent stats. Uh, can play as a full back, as a wing back. So he's got the options there. So I thought, you know, we need to start getting some quality into the team. The better signing we got is Gerard Delafue on a loan from Barcelona. He's put on the transfer list. And my scout scouted him and told me he had like a five-star potential and five-star current ability. Which, now that he's into the club, only has four stars. But that's fine. So he can play either as a right wing or a left wing. So I'm going to probably utilise him on both wings, if I'm honest with you. Depending on what fitness is like and how the players are playing. So he's either going to be playing you know, as a right winger or more than likely I'm going to play him as an inside forward on the left wing. So some pretty exciting signs coming in considering I didn't plan on making any signings. Uh, so, since we last left, we lost 1-0 to Arsenal. Uh, you know, nothing of note there. That's when Kyle Norton got injured. Uh, we brought Tammy Abraham on as well. Maybe get some fitness in. We played quite well, to be honest with you. And then Danny Welbeck scored a bit of a sitter, to be honest with you. But the Leicester game, we won 2-0. And Delafue had the game of his life. I'm going to show you the goals we scored. Because, obviously, this was his debut for Swansea coming into this game. He got a 90th minute goal. I mean, if I show you the goals here... Uh, let's have a look. So we don't want to see that was the disallow goal. So let me show you the goals. So this is coming off a Leicester highlight. Mesa pumped it upfield. Delafue just ran to the right hand side. 
jumped past the defender, had all the space in the world, cut inside and makes a score to tap in. That was a hell of an assist from De La Fuwe. So we were 1-0 up, we were dealing with a little bit of pressure and then come the 90th minute, watch this for a goal. So Trippier and Gray sort of hand it to each other, Mesa intercepts, lumps upfield, De La Fuwe picks up the ball, runs right towards the goal and thumps it in. To say I was happy was an understatement because this was a goal or a game we needed to win. Because if we look at the Premier League table, we're still in 18th positions, so we're still in the relegation zone, we're level on points with Southampton. Uh, Stoke have won their last two games, so they've climbed the table, you know, a lot in the last couple of games there. And since we lost to Arsenal, you know, it's kind of set us back a little bit. But we're level on points with Southampton, we're two points away from Huddersfield and Palace. We're only three points away from Stoke, so they've still got big teams to play. And if we look at our schedule... I mean, we've got Man United, City and Chelsea. Those are the only real big teams. Maybe Everton as well. So we've got a lot of winnable games coming up that we can get ourselves out of the relegation places. So I'm going to cut back to the tactics for the Cardiff game, as that's today. And we'll see how we get on. So here is the lineup for the Cardiff City game. Uh, we've slightly tweaked the formation a bit. We're going to go a lot more attacking than we did in the, first, uh, in the, in the proper fourth round. Uh, because we didn't really... We were tough this in attack, so we're going to try the new formation here uh, as a 4-2-1-3, or two, 4, no, 4-2-3-1, yeah, 4 2 3, one. Uh, We've got Ava up front, he's going to retain his place as centre forward, Delafu is going to be the inside forward, Borja Lasso is going to be the attack in mid, Stuani on the right hand side, Mesa retains his Mazzella position, but Sanchez is going to now be a ball winning midfielder, because without a DM we're going to lose the, uh, the cover for our, our defence, so he's going to be going box to box or... You know, line to line, I think, of the ball one midfielder does. Rika makes his, well, it's the second start of the season, but the first start was against Leicester. So he's going to be our first choice left back from going forward. Bartley and Mawson, first choice centre backs. And then our new signing, Sebastian Young, is going to be the right back for us. They're playing win backs, so they're going to be pushing forward as well. So it's a very attack minded formation here. I'm going to be on control because I'm guessing we're going to be having a lot more of the possession in this game. So. Cardiff City at the Swansea City Stadium. South Wales Derby, part two. Our team is, well, three of my team are motivated. Let's get this game underway. And hopefully we can try and have a bit more of an exciting game than we did the nil-nil in the fourth round proper. So it's going to start with the Cardiff free kick, three minutes in. Always promising. Hoyle with a shot. Sanchez gives it to Borgia. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Rika, our new sign in. So we're playing it around the back, keeping the ball. That's what I like to see. Don't do anything stupid. Mesa to Borgia. Nice chip over ball to AU, but it's headed away. Delafoué picks it up. Ends up with Borgia in the attacking midfield. Jordan AU. To Borgia, and it's 1-0, four minutes in. Borgia Lasso, the attacking midfielder. I like, I think the formation's working, guys. I know it's only four minutes and 13 seconds into the into the first game we've tried it, but it's a, it's a successful formation. I like the build-up to that. And Borgia slotted it in the bottom corner, and that's all you want to see. It's a good start to the South Wales derby for Swansea City. First shot on target, first goal. Hopefully this will be the catalyst to maybe get in. Maybe a 2 or even a 3-0 win today. So De La Fue had a brilliant game against Leicester. Borgia finds AU, who finds Stuani. Ooh, a little bit of, bit of confusion in the box for Cardiff. Stuani's holding the ball up for Borgia. He finds De La Fue on the left. Gives it back to Stuani. He's going to find... No, he's not going to find the right back. Maybe not. He does find Jung eventually. Crosses it in. Ayu! And it's 2-0! Ten minutes in. Jordan Ayu. Off the bar. And we're going to... This is what should have happened in the first game. We did play defensively in the first game. I wasn't too sure how it was going to play out. But I'm happy with this new attacking formation we've got. So we might utilise this tactic when we are at home and we are the favourites. 
which in our position that we're in, we're not going to be favourites very often. But I'm liking the way this is going. So we've had three shots. Two of them have been goals. Oh, we, just need to, we need not let, let Cardiff get back into this game. We don't want it to be like a Liverpool job where, you know, we score three goals and then we just let three goals in. So where you down the right-hand side, ends up with Young, low cross, goes to no one. So that's going to be lumped back upfield to Mawson. Mesa's going to find a pass to AU. Back to Jung or Young. Stuani crosses it in. Jordan AU with a shot. Oh, it should have been three. Should have been three. But at this point, I'm not moaning. I'm not going to criticise the team. We're 2-0 up against our rivals. So the attacking formation seems to be working. We're having a lot of the possession. We're having a lot of the shots. A lot of them on target as well, which is good. We don't want them to be off target, obviously. For obvious reasons. Mesa with the corner. Bartley. Sanchez with the shot. Oh, it's deflected in. I think it came off Sahori. And it's 3-0 to the Swans. This is good, the guys. I'm liking this. I know it's only Cardiff. I know they're only in the championship. But it's nice to have a good win, you know. Gets the confidence up. So it looks like we're going to go in half time 3 0 up, which is a fantastic performance from us. Except for if Mawson just heads it back to fucking Cardiff. Stuani. Keeping the ball. Rocky Mesa. Delafue! Oh! Delafue. He's only on loan for six months, so he's not going to be a permanent signing for us, but he could be the difference maker this season. So, yeah, I am very happy. We're going to go passionate. I'm happy with the performance, lads. Is there anyone we need to sub? Is there anyone looking? Uh, Kyle Bartley's bucked, but I'm not really concerned there. Maybe I Dare I say it, think about resting players? No, I'm not, I'm not going to rest players. I think we need to keep it strong in the second half. We need to make a statement because I'm, this will boost the morale in the team. And this will put us in good stead for our Premier League survival chances. So we're looking good. I've nothing to really comment on. We'll maybe have a look at about 70 minutes. See how we're looking. I mean, you can't really see because my face is kind of covering it. But the the performance in the body language is looking pretty good for the whole team. So I just want to say, you know, encourage the team. We're going to make some tactical changes here. Now we are going to rest some players. So Delafu is going to come off. Uh, we're going to bring Tom Carroll on. And we're going to swap over Borja Lasso and Carroll. So Carroll's going to be the new attacking midfielder. Uh, Rocky Mace is a bit flagging. So we're going to bring on Ki Sung Young. Yeah, you can play Mazella quite well. And Sebastian Young. We've only got Olsen on the bench, really. I'm going to bring off Rika. And we're going to bring on Martin Olsen. I don't, I don't want to lose my new left back to suspension. So triple sub. And we're just going to see out the game for a lovely 3-0 win. Which if you'd have told me that at the start of the game, I'd have been very happy with. So it looks like we're going to be advancing in the FA Cup. Which as I say, I'm not too bothered about. I'm only bothered because we've got Cardiff City. Now I'm bothered. Now it bothers me. As long as we go past Cardiff, I'm happy. But if we went out in the next round, you know, I want to try and concentrate on the league. League survive. It's saving Swans. We want to save Swansea City. So the first job of saving Swansea City is keeping them in the Premier League. And that is it. Jordan Ayew singled out as a good performance. And do you know what, boys? That was a brilliant performance. So, what? Well, only, so only, Tom Carroll, who came on as a sub, Frederica Rica, our left back, and Delafue were delighted with that. Everyone else was kind of like, eh, you know, it's just Cardiff and that. Just, just Cardiff. Who cares? But you are, I don't care. I care. I care. Even though I told you I don't, I don't. So, we win in the fourth round. We got, it went to a replay, but we won in the end. We triumph in the 3-0 derby. 
in, we triumph in the 3-0 derby. We triumph in the South Wales derby by winning 3-0. And we've got Birmingham in the fifth round. So, Birmingham are in the championship. Ryan Giggs their manager, which is quite interesting. Which, as I'm recording this, Ryan Giggs has been announced as the new Wales manager. Which, I'm a little bit disheartened about, to be honest with you. But there weren't many other people out there that could have done it. But Birmingham are 23 in the championship. So, it's a winnable game. And that'll take us into the quarterfinals, I think. I can't remember. But, let's have a look at the schedule. So, that's going to be it for today. We've got Burnley coming up, home, which is a winnable game. At home. And we've got Birmingham. So, so yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll come back for the Burnley game. And we'll also, if we can, we'll also squeeze in the Birmingham FA Cup game as well. So, that'll take us up to the fifth round. So, we've got... We've got up and coming winnable games here. We've got Brighton, West Ham, Huddersfield, Southampton, all winnable games. So I think we could do well, you guys. So so I'm gonna end it there. Next episode I say we'll come back for Burnley. We'll also do Birmingham in the FA Cup. So thanks for tuning in. We managed to scrape past Cardiff in a 3-0 win in, in the replay. So we've got past our rival. We won in the South Wales Derby. And tune in next time for the Burnley game. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a thumbs up just so that I know that there are people out there enjoying the content. And yeah, I will catch you guys next time.